which jalapeno popper really pops off? Let's talk about that. Good mythical summer. French fries may be the classic fried fast food side option, but it ain't the only option. We've seen chicken fries, tater tots, and also mac and cheese bites. Yep. And if a few more of you restaurants put those on your menu, we can make that a taste test too. So get on it, we need the content. Yes, we do. But today we are guessing and ranking a fast food side item that's spicy, cheesy, and might ravage the roof of your mouth if you're not careful. The jalapeno popper. It's time for getting all up in your jalapeno poppers taste test. Stevie, what's poppin'? Today you'll be tasting six different jalapeno poppers from Carl's Jr., Arby's, Church's, Sonic, Jack in the Box, and Wiener Schnitzel. Okay. You'll guess which popper came from where and then rank each on a scale of one to ten. You'll also have the option to use one lifeline in the form of ranch dipping sauce from the corresponding restaurant. Oh. Whoever loses will have their arms wrapped in bubble wrap and popped by the winner all throughout Good Mythical More. Cool. Sounds like everybody wins. So is the idea that the ranch makes us help us uh, yeah. think? A little That's ranch the makes idea. you think? <laughs> As you can see, we can, because we have no idea what these jalapeno poppers at these restaurants look like anyways, we don't need to be blindfolded. Yes, but we do know that each popper will be delivered to us on the patent pending popper goes the weasel. Don't pop out of here, all right? Yeah, it is. So, we ready? Yeah, we just, uh, we turn and... Oh, there, there, there we go. It took a while for it to pop out. Uh, um, he's, this is a this is an animal. Yeah, and he's holding a little a little jalapeno popper. Look oh, I thought that was still part of his fur. Well, he's, he definitely got some popper on this his is belly. A, get it? This is a weasel. Yeah, yeah. I didn't need to do explain it. I've never actually seen a pop goes the weasel. With a weasel, yeah. I've, well, I've, I've actually only seen it with a clown. Well, you can take it home because it was you. a jack. Yeah. in the box, which is one of the rounds. Dink, Dink it, it and sink, sink it. it. Oh gosh, all my all my pepper came out in my mouth. Is that what normally happens with these? I, I never order these. You know what? It's one of my favorite sides. It is. They're just so good. I love spicy. I love cheese. I love fried. I just that's, get a little guilty. That's a good cheese. That's a decent heat. Hmm. I mean, hmm. I don't know where we're going from here, but I quite enjoyed that. I mean, I'm gonna give it a seven. Uh, I'm gonna be generous. I'll give it a nice little six. Where's it from though? How is that generous? Cause six feels like- Because I usually would like to just start at a five. Oh, okay. Uh, You're setting the scale. It's gaining some heat on me. See, um, I still have mine to look at here. You wanna go ahead and have your ranch, round one? No, because I got nothing to dip it in. It's too small. See, I don't... Ready to guess? I mean... it. This is, where would this breading be from? And is there anything else in this place that might be bred in this way? Jalapeno breeders. I don't know about, I don't know how big these things are gonna get. Wiener schnitzel? You know? I've eaten at all these places at a time or again. Okay. I gotta guess. I'm ready. Three, two, one. Arby's. Jack in the box. I think we would start there. Let's see if we can sync up this okay. time. Three, two, two one. Up. Oh. Mine open that quick. It's, I mean, if, it's they don't, if they don't start stinks, if they don't stink start, if they don't start stinks, <laughs> you can't stick them up. Did you just call me stink? If they don't start stink, you can't stink them up. Link. If they don't start stink, you can't stink. Look now, how big this one is. It's a this bigger one. This is what I was one, hoping for. And it's got more even breading than the last one. Hmm. Does it smell like a restaurant? Ooh. This is a much higher quality popper. I can see the complete pepper 
I saw the complete pepper the last time. They're a little stingy with the cheese on this one. I don't know if this is a high, higher quality pepper. Maybe it's, it's not. It's bigger. The cheese is not as good. Yeah. Okay. It's, got, it's yellow cheese. Right. It's yellow cheese, which is... I thought because it, the pepper seemed more like a an actual pepper than the last one. Pepper got lost last time. Too much pepper this time. I don't like this one as much, actually. <laughs> I'm not, we just went on a little trip with the Link. The more I talk about it, the more I don't like it. A little it. trip with Link's brain. <clears throat> I'm now well, This get, is a high quality popper, but on second thought, I hate it. I think I'm going to give this. A what? A four? Is that what you were thinking? I'm going to give it a three. All right, because I was thinking four. And, um, but the. I mean, the pepper part, though. Is, the pepper, is it a high quality pepper? Because when you look at the cheese in that thing. It's kind of pasty. I don't like the cheese, and I don't like the flavor of the breading. So who's going cheapest? All right, I well, have they're my pretty, guess. It's pretty big, though. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Carl Wiener Jr. Schnitzel. He said Wiener Schnitzel. I said Carl's Jr. for all those playing along at home. <laughs> What's the point of us saying it at the same time if we got to say it again separately? Um, so that we don't copy each other? Why would I copy you? You don't know anything well, about this. Well, I mean, usually you don't both adopt an accent. <laughs> yeah, that was, just so you're, we're clear, I did it because you said it in a German accent, and I don't know how many Germans we got watching. Wiener <laughs> Schnitzel. Go. Here we go. Uh. You seen that movie Elf? Hey, it's your favorite. Best movie ever. Of course I've seen it, just to make sure it's good. Yep, yep. yep. Okay, uh, guys, you've put the exact same popper from the last round in here. Uh, no, mine looks like the popper from the beginning, which makes me think that poppers are all different. Because peppers it, are all different. Maybe it's a little smaller. Well, that's a good What point. color's the cheese? I mean. Mm. Okay. It's a white this cheese. This is a high quality popper. The white cheese, which I don't know what that is. I'll just be honest with you. Ricotta. It's not ricotta. <laughs> is the perfect combination for these. And that was a really good pepper. I just happened to eat it all at once, so I've forgotten it already. Well, it's a cream cheese. Yeah, it's a cream cheese. So. That's what it's supposed to be. Oh, really? I, I honestly know so it, little well, about jalapeno poppers. You can poppers. make jalapeno poppers in lots of different ways. There's no rules. It's not like there's a a government agency that tells you how you're supposed to make them, but I think that people who know what's up put cream cheese in them, at least some cream cheese. It's a totally different experience than with the previous, like, baked cheddar it's cheese. It's so it. much better than that last one. I'm still thinking that the first one is better than both of these in the last, I'm gonna give this a five. I don't know if I'm going back to a seven or, because I don't want the fact that there's a bigger pepper to over-influence me, but yours, your pepper was pretty big, too. <laughs> Eight. Now, who's going to go with cream cheese versus some other type of orange cheese? I feel like this is a little more sophisticated. Hmm. All right. That, that's, that's what's giving me my guess. All right. What's giving you your guess? Uh, just instinct. Okay. Three, two, one. Carl's Jr. So you did a double Carl's Jr. guess. I do double all the time. Okay, all right. You just want to be right about Carl's Jr.? Uh, Why? No, because I think that was either Carl's Jr. or Arby's. I think you or I were right. And that was probably incorrect grammar. Hey y'all, it's that time of the month again. Our periods are happening. <laughs> And we're also selling, for a limited time only, our Another. pin of the month. Limited quantity collectible. This is only available for 24 hours. This when they're is, gone, they're gone. This is the period. Uh, infamous pork blood taco. That's right, it's got blood in it, like a period. <laughs> I mean, I thought, that, I thought that my joke was subtle. And then I thought that you did a nice little like one up that really clarified for the people who didn't get my joke. And then I thought we were good. Hey man, pigs have periods too. Now you've really crossed the line twice. Get this at mythical.com. My nose is itching. Get this, uh, did I ruin it? I'm sorry. Uh, no. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Cause somebody out there's on their period and they're like, well I guess I gotta, gotta get this pen. Nothing wrong with it. It's, it's, it's a part, it's a part of life. No, no one thought that you were saying there was something wrong with it. 
You just revealed something that you think about periods that you then projected to everyone else. No, Nothing I'm, wrong with periods, man. Uh, I'm just saying. You're like a Levitical priest. It's a, it's Send a, the woman outside of the village for seven days. It's a, it's, oh, it's a beautiful. It's no a, one was thinking there was a problem with it. Let's just eat our jalapeno poppers. I'll tell you, my dog loves periods. <laughs> I would say my appetite has been adjusted, but I have no problem with periods. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that weasel. Oh gosh, I can't. I apologize to whichever restaurant this round is because your logo is now associated with periods. Because if we put their logo up, right? <laughs> right, that's how this works. It's kind of, the breading's kind of warty. Not general warts. Just so you all know, I'm done. Where's the pepper in I'm this done one? with the joke. Where's the pepper? The re pepper. Hey, if you ever think anything about me, just remember at this point, I said I was done. I do something else that makes you hate me. I, just remember this moment, I was done. I was done with periods. I'd moved on to genital warts. <sighs> it had nothing to do with each other except a loose association with genitals. Which are beautiful. No one's got a problem with them. Least of, least of all me. <laughs> um, there is no. This is horrible. Whoa, hold on now. What? It's important to note uh -huh. that unlike every other jalapeno popper, this just has pieces of pepper. There's no actual pepper. I thought I mas macerated it with yeah, my mouth. Yeah, you ate so much, but. I'm gonna need some ranch. I wanna do my lifeline. I've that, still got a little bit of popper. That right there is just pieces of pepper, so it's more about the fry and the cheese. It's very hot, but everything else about it is not great. And Unless like you said, you this like is somebody pepper. really, really cutting the corners. Mm-hmm, it definitely and, um, is. Let's see if I learn anything from this ranch. So who doesn't, if you don't like peppers, but you want a jalapeno Nothing. popper, then you would like this one. Pretty good ranch, though. And is the con the container's not a hint? The no, this is a mythical container. Okay. Um, so what do you give this? You hate it? Um, I give it a three. I, I don't hate it. If you set a bunch of them in front of me at a party, I'd eat all of them. Because the cheese is not bad. But it, on a scale of one to jalapeno popper, I'm giving it a three. I'm actually gonna give it a six because I'm not as big on the pepper part of a jalapeno popper. <laughs> yeah, don't, that I, makes I don't, sense. I, I don't, I never judge your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I never say things like, I'm not so big on the jalapeno part of a jalapeno popper. I just wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say it, man. It's better that way. Um, it's like I like apple pies without apple chunks. Yeah, and you also like chocolate chip cookies without chocolate chips. Your yeah, opinion yeah. is not reliable. It, but it's at least it's specific. Uh, yeah. You ready to guess? Um, yeah. Three, two, one. Wiener schnitzel. It's a good guess. Let wind it up. up. Hello. Weasel. Oh. Dang, son, you're... I, I still got it. And what, how did that, oh. Yeah, that's, I mean, he just, he decided he was tired of being held down. Well, look at that, y'all. Look at what it could have, look at what could have happened. I guess when you... This is pretty dinky. Don't, it, they gotta use that for your for the for the next well, round Well, it, it's not worked, I, we just discovered it's never, it's never really worked great anyway. I'm disappointed in this weasel. I'm not. I love it. So the breading on this thing is um, hoard. See, same thing, jalapeno bits, but no actual pepper in there, is it? Oh, this is horrible. We're being deceived once again in the shape of a pepper, but no actual pepper shape underneath. Now, I can see why somebody would cut this corner because actually having a whole jalapeno that you're having to like <clears throat> fill with stuff and it's a lot of work. 
But the last one that where they cut a corner, I still like the taste. This one, it's really hot, but. There's hardly any jalapeno, like uh, hardly any in mine. How much is in yours? About the same as last time. I mean, I like hardly any, like I guess I ate some. Yeah, you need to know. start, if you, you no, need no, to bite I, it in I half. Took several several bites and I looked along the way. It tastes bad, the breading's bad, the, the cheese, cheese is not bad. as good. This is the worst one so one. far. Yep, I agree, I give this a one. So who's really, okay, I'm gonna try again. Ready? Three, two, one. Jack Churches. in the Box. There ain't no way Jack in the Box was skimped like this, man. I know that their menus as wide as the Gulf of Mexico, but they've got pride. <laughs> uh, okay, sorry Jack in the Box. Sorry to Jack and his box. Last one. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. You have a troll? No, I just want him to know who's in charge here. The little weasel. You want the weasel to know? So this is, I think they're all made by the same company, shipped out to all these different places, and then they're like fried a little bit differently. We're, it is possible. We're back to measly, oh, that's got heat though. You know, the last three in a row have all just been bits yeah, but of there's pepper. Way more jalapeno in this one. And that could just be inconsistency across the product. But this is very similar to the last one, but the jalapeno flavor is stronger, hotter. See, I still have the last one. I don't know if that's cheating or anything, but. You also have um, They're like, exactly the same. I think you also have the ranch lifeline. Yeah, bring it in. Oh, here it is, thank you. Um, I'm just gonna taste it with my finger first. Mm. I have not had this ranch, so this does give me a hint. This is this is a little bit better than the last one. I'm gonna give it a two. This ranch has like Italian dressing mixed in it, is what it tastes like. Hmm. It's not a good ranch. Hmm. Have you guessed Sonic? I haven't, because I kind of forgot that it was a guess. Me neither. I Going into this, which one, I would have thought that Sonic was the best one. I kept waiting for one to be really great. And it never but why happened. is the ranch almost orange. Is that Sonic Ranch? Sonic it's, Ranch is no, no. orange? <clears throat> well, I didn't want you to benefit from my hint. Well, you should have let me see your ranch. Um, but I've already said it, it's bad ranch. It's bad ranch. Who has bad ranch? And it's an off color ranch. Mm. Okay, it's, it's bad. Did, I get, you, did you give a I get, rating? No. Um, the pepper, even though I think it's exactly the same as the last round, I'm gonna give it a two. Because the pepper is more peppery. Okay. Yeah, I already gave it a two. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. Three, two, one. Vegan pizza. Turd case? Turd case, yeah. Is that what you said? <laughs> I said churches. No, I didn't guess Sonic for any round. Did you? Results time, nope. Okay, so before I tell you how many you got correct, you actually had a tie for first place um, between Jack in the Box and Arby's. Oh, what? Jack in the Box was the first one you had, though. So I don't know how much that influences your. I, so Arby's I, was I the one. By that, Arby's was the one that I really liked. Arby's was the one you really liked, and Jack gave in the Box eight. was the one that you like collectively gave some of your highest scores to. Um, Brett, you got one correct. Boom! Good work, man. On that one, <laughs> you did really good work. Link. You got three correct. Hey! Yeah, I was using I was using my fast food logic. Oh, that's the end of the sentence that you're gonna say. Yeah, you seemed yeah. like you were gonna say something else. Yeah, I started thinking st st stuff that wasn't worth saying. Okay, so the best. And I'm, two I'm really trying to learn from my mistakes. Were uh, you said Arby's and Jack, Jack in the, the box. box? Yeah, it was gonna be about periods. Oh, okay. So. Well, I'm glad that you didn't finish that statement. Um, we can unpack the rest of the results in Good Mythical More, and also, uh, Rhett, you're going to have your arms wrapped in bubble wrap, so Link can uh, pop you. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. I'm Danielle. I'm David. And this is Amelia. And we're on our first family vacation at Coco Cay. And, and it's, it's time, time to, to spin, spin the, the wheel, wheel of, of mythicality. mythicality.
Amelia won't remember that. Yes, she will. But you'll show it to her, and she'll be like, yeah, I do remember that. Hi, Amelia, you've all grown up now, and we're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Click the, speak for yourself. Click the top link to watch us discover which bubble gum makes the best bubble and get mythical more. And to find out where the willow mythicality is going to land. Get your barf buckets ready. Shop the pork blood taco pin of the month today only at mythical.com.